welcome to Friday Focus. I didn't check actually to see what number I'm up to, but I think this might be number 16. Um, in which case, that's amazing. I'm nearly up to 20, so that'd be 20 weeks that I've come and spoke to you guys. So I love that. Um, what I wanted to talk to you today about was how your thoughts create your feelings. Now, I know if you've listened to a number of my um, Friday focuses, you would have heard me saying this to you again, but I don't script what I'm saying in, in these sessions. So I'm kind of hoping that the way I describe it today might just resonate a bit more for you. So, or you might hear it maybe in a different way that you think, oh, okay. So life gives us situations. Life gives us circumstances, events, um, other people's behaviour, sugar and sweets in the supermarket, alcohol on the shelves, junk food in drive throughs Life gives us stuff for us to deal with. That stuff, that, that's those circumstances, those situations are not what makes us have a feeling. What happens is our brain will give us an interpretation of that event or of that person's behaviour or of the sugar and the sweets in the supermarket. Your brain has a thought about it. And it's that thought that makes you have an emotion. And this has been proven by neuroscience. This isn't just some kind of woo-woo magic. It's the thoughts in our head that send the chemical down into our body. So good thought equals a good chemical, bad thought will equal a bad chemical. That chemical is then an emotion that we feel. And then depending on how we feel, that feeling, that emotion drives all of our actions or it creates our inaction. And then depending on what we do or don't do will give us a result in our life. So for example, if, you're, if you don't particularly like your body, so hate's a strong word, but if you dislike, if you have a feeling of dislike for yourself, Find out what you're thinking. And it might be something along the lines of, oh, I really don't look very nice. So when you think I don't look very nice, you feel like this dislike for yourself. So the, the situation here is that you have a body. That is, the, that is the fact. How big or small or flabby or toned it is doesn't matter. The fact is you have a body. But if you're thinking, oh, I don't really like how I look, that's going to create this dislike, this feeling of sort of, it's not a very nice feeling. And then from that dislike, what's probably then going to happen is you're going to, you're going to sort of want to not look after your body. Chances are because you're not feeling great, you're going to eat more or you're gonna seek out the sugar, or you're gonna look for the alcohol to try and make you feel better. But it's those actions that then end up giving you a result probably of putting on more weight. So that thought isn't creating the result that you want. Another thing that I hear so often in, the, in England is, Oh, isn't it miserable outside today? I was actually walking with uh, my youngest son the other day and it's a little bit drizzly. And I came across two ladies coming in the opposite direction they were under their umbrella and, oh, isn't it miserable today? And I can't help myself. I'm like, well, it is raining, but I quite like being out in the rain. It doesn't bother me. And they were like, oh no, it's, it's actually fine, isn't it? As long as you've got somewhere nice to go to. And I, I've heard it say that, you know, it's, oh, it's just a figure of speech or, um, oh, that's just what we say. But the, what we say is creating how we feel. 
So if you're looking out the window when it's raining and you're saying to yourself, oh, isn't it miserable today? You're going to feel miserable. That's not the rain that's causing that. That's your thought that's causing that feeling. It's the same at the moment with lockdown. A lot of people are getting bored of lockdown. They're feeling bored because they're thinking, I can't go out, nothing's happening. This is going on forever. Like you know what your thought is. But there are some people that are actually really enjoying lockdown. So how is it possible if one situation makes two humans feel different? What is the difference there in those humans? The difference is how they're thinking. And depending on what you think will determine how you feel. Now, the reason why this is really amazing news for you to hear is because if you're reliant on a situation or a person to make you feel better and that situation doesn't change, or we can't control it or change it, you then think that you're never going to feel better. But when you accept and realize that it's your thought that's creating your feeling, that's something that we can work with. That's something that we can control and that's something that we can change. So much more powerful. Now this isn't to say that just because it's our thoughts that create our feelings, we should always then want to feel happy. We should always make ourselves feel positive. That is not the case. Because when we lose someone we love, we want to be saddened by that grief. We want to feel the sadness. We want to grieve for the loss that we've had. So yes, it's our thoughts that are causing it, but that's okay. We want to have that emotion. But if you're experiencing emotion that you don't want to have, well then let's do some work to change it. And when you learn to process your emotions, you then don't need to have all the external crap to make you feel better. You don't need the alcohol, you don't need the sugar, you don't need Netflix. You don't need to spend more money. It's not all the external things that make you feel better internally. Brilliant news. Because it means that you can control your thinking. You can learn to alter and change your mind. So I just want you to consider actually How is this really good news for you? Like, I really want you to question, how is this the best news I've ever heard? If it's not my situation causing me to feel rubbish, that's brilliant. It's my thoughts that are causing me to feel rubbish. And sometimes that might be okay. But if it's not okay for you right now, then let's work on changing it. Have a really lovely weekend. Talk to you next week. Bye.